Taurus, how you doing? Messages from the universe on your relationship side. That's your karmic path on the relationship side. Ooh, looks all sorts of amazing. There you go. And that's uh, your karmic path on your business sort of side. Hmm, a little bit of disappointment, is that? Well, I'll see in the messages. And that's how the universe is trying to influence that karmic path. They're trying to bring victories for you. So eh, it'd be interesting to see how it sort of all pans out. Uh, if you don't know anything about the Astro Flower, please go down in the description below and you'll find lots of information concerning the petals, the elements and things like that. Let's just get straight in here. Uh, let's have a look what's been going on on your um, petals last week. So Taurus, it was a case of uh, balance your energies. Things are moving very fast and they seem to be still moving very fast actually. And uh, maybe not as fast as you would wish in certain aspects of it all. So uh, just for a briefing, relationship side, money side, and the overall energy running through. Let's just get straight in here. Let's just see what the messages are coming through for your karmic path uh, on the relationship sort of side of things. Patience um, can be difficult. Uh, certainly not one of the strongest uh, strongest uh, points of Taurus. Uh, mainly the earth signs as well. We're not very patient. I'm another earth sign as well. And, uh, you know, probably Virgo is probably the one that gets out the best in the way of patience. Um, so on the relationship side, here, and the message is coming through here, that it's coming through on your karmic path, is... Things are going to go, okay, so it's tying into the cards. I've seen the cards. So it is going quickly, but it's not quickly as in um, things are changing quickly. That doesn't seem to be the case. It seems to be that you're going to be very socially active this week, uh, where there's a lot of things going on, but little small things. So uh, going out for um, sort of after work drinks here or, or going for a coffee here or, um, you know, playing a bit of sport with some friends. Or, or going out for a meal with the family or friends. It seems to be a lot of offers sort of coming thing coming through and you've got to move quickly with the times. That's what it's sort of saying. It's learning, it's, uh, it's, it's it, for this week, it sort of seems like learning to, to smooth from one thing to another with ease, as it were. Um, how the messages on the universe coming in for you, they sort of saying there, If you, it's, I don't know if you've ever been skiing and done slalom or stuff, or, or stuff like that. Um, once you go skiing and you're doing slalom, there is this, I do snowboarding, but similar sort of thing. It's when you get into that curve as, you, as you're going around the bend. You can feel it pushing, but you can also feel it sliding. Same with the car and everything like that. The universe is here sort of saying, as you move from one thing to the other, don't forget you know, the big, the bigger dreams within your relationships, within your family, within your friends, within your couple, within a future couple, uh, you know, and it's the, where the universe is sort of saying to you, dream big, or uh, if you can, if you can, if you can step from one thing to another within your, within your social network, you're going to be, you, you know, things, things can really happen for you. Things can, really work in your favour. So uh, as, as long as you don't hold up on things and don't procrastinate, which you don't tend to do, you can do, like everybody, but you don't tend to do. And once you, if you can move smoothly from one thing to another, the universe is gonna bring you lots of possibilities. Let's just see how the guides here are trying to influence that karmic path. Yeah, another outwardly looking. So it's um, looking outward for this place. This, the, I think they, this, the, your guides are going to really be an intricate part of bringing in that social invitations around you. And it may be the most simplest of things. Kind of going, oh, I think I'm just going to go down the, the, the shopping centre, the shopping mall. You know, did you want to come? Yeah, great. That, 
it, it, it's going to allow you to to develop your relationships with other people a lot easier, network a lot easier, uh, and it will it will make those possibilities for the future. A bit of a leap of faith, yeah. So it is looking outwards, and it is accepting. I think certain offers of you know sort of friendships or social social activities that come from outside that's going to really sort of help you to understand the greater flow or the greater picture of relationships uh, that's what it seems like this week here so let's just get straight into where your guys are trying to influence that conversation that is within you You're going to be called on to help people. And that doesn't necessarily mean help as in help build someone's house or, 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 or things of that such. It's going to be more of a case of uh, having a good ear. So being able to listen to people, uh, listen to, their, to the, what they're saying, their woes or their problems or, or, or their choices that they need to make. And you're going to find those words that are going to weigh beautifully for them. And they're going to sort of look at you. You've got a real chance of positioning yourself this week uh, for the greater future in a position where people can actually turn around and kind of go, do you know what, Taurus, I didn't know there was so much depth to them. Or I'd never really talked to them before. I never really engaged with them. And it's like, it's fantastic. It's really, they've really helped out a lot. And it seems like... You're going to feel very comfortable with your with your position. The emperor car comes up, so yeah, you're going to be sitting in that position of respectability and kudos, basically, uh, within your relationship. And this could be within your couple, friends, family, every sort of aspect of your relationships. So uh, yeah, interesting week. It's going to be. I'd say so. If I summed it up for the relationship signs. It's being there for other people and accepting those social invitations that will lead you into new territory, but it will allow you to position yourself as that emperor, that sure person that is, uh, they've already built their empire and now they're sitting within their knowledge and within their, their security. And it will make you feel a lot happier where, within your relationships around you, all types of relationships. OK, let's have a look what's going on on the money front. There's still be business jobs and, uh, uh, um, and projects. <coughs> well, it doesn't bow too well if you saw that five of cups there earlier on. If I was to plant a seed um, and I, it hadn't germinated, well, it germinated, but I hadn't seen the first leaves. Would I dig that seed up to see whether it's germinated? No. So this is where the patience part comes in, I think, for you. Um, it's, you, you can't go quicker. You know, you had the Seven of Swords there uh, last week, and it was all a little bit about clear thinking and being clear about what sort of opportunities you should be taking. And this, if, if you've managed to take that on board and realise that, Winning the big prize in the long term is probably not the best thing for you. And it's better to sort of take on a lot more smaller things. You gain a lot more. And this is the only disappointment I can feel that you under, you have to understand that it's, it's not going as fast as you would desire it to go. But the universe is sort of backing it up, sort of saying, OK, these may be small victories that are coming in. An extra sale here, uh, uh, an extra client here or um, a freeing up of a project so that the project moves forward a little bit better. Um, on that sort of side, it's if you've done the planning, then the universe will be providing you with a constant trickle of victories. That's what it seems like. And yes, it may, you know, you may want, want it to go a lot quicker, but that is the learning curve maybe that you need to do within the business side of life this week. Just realise that you kind of go, trust the universe and trust the process, okay? Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence your karmic path. I think this this is still debris from last week. 
but they're almost sort of saying um, that uh, you need to have, uh, don't accept everything. Uh, you need to have very good discernment uh, when it's concerned with people sort of saying, oh, look what you could win. And uh, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the eating. So it's a case there, I think, of um, staying in your position and having those healthy boundaries that going fo forward. Queen of Pentacles, very good for you. So this is all to do with mastery in regards to of knowledge of life, of how life sort of progresses forward. And if you can understand that, so if you understand that the sun rises at this time and it sets at another, these are the times that I should be going to work. You've already, you know, you've already got one aspect sorted out. Your timing's already sorted out. And if you know that the, the fish bite at this time, if let's say you were a fisherman, uh, the fish bite at this time. So this is the time you want to be casting your rod. Uh, and this is what this is. The Queen of Pentacles is all about that understanding, that natural progression of things. And nature is not the fastest, uh, you know, fastest uh, thing on the track, but it's very, very sure. And these constant little victories that are coming in for you will make for a very, very solid base for going forward in the future, which you then can play with. But in the meantime, it's trusting that process, sitting in your power, which is exactly what she's doing. Um, she's even got her eyes closed because she knows where she's going. She knows what she's doing. She's even got a, light, a slight smile on her face as if to say, I've got this covered. I know what I'm doing. You know, and you should be feeling like that a little bit. So let people come to you and try and sell you things. And if you don't want it, you know, let them waste their saliva. It may make you, help you to understand a little bit more about your business environment or your job environment. And uh, if you're going for promotion or if you want to progress in your job, it's a case of sticking true to your standards, you know. Let's have a look how the guides are trying to influence the conversation that is within you. Very spicy bubbly, magnetic. You're going to be pulling in a lot of opportunities here. Your guides are sort of kind of, they're giving your heads up here, kind of like a bit of a nudge as if to sort of say, look at that. What about that? Did you hear that? That sort of thing. The guides say, be very attentive of a very sure, but precise information that comes to you when within your business world. Uh, so it will help you to see clear or uh, help you see the opportunities that others may not see, okay? Queen of Wands, that's a really powerful side there. A lot of passion, as I said, it's it's really spicy. And she is spicy, she's in the here and now, she's in there. And that's what, she's looking at that one candle that's burning, she's got lots of candles around her, um, but she's got that one candle, so she's concentrating on one thing at a time, concentrating on the here and now. And this is what your guides are trying to help you out with. So if you do get that intuition, that little voice within you says, do this, might be a good idea to sort of test it out and do it and I'll follow it, you know, within caution of everything. Okay, let's see how you combine these two together. But anyway, on the, on, just to sum up the business sort of side, uh, it's gonna be very um, uh, spicy. You may not may take big leaps on in, in the front, in a uh, forward, but you're certainly going to be in a position where you're going to be able to uh, progress very surely. And within no time in the future, you'll be able to look back and kind of go, yeah, that's really good foundation. We can build a lot on that. <coughs> I think the tying in of this, okay, so we're doing this card here, so it combines two journeys. Finding your feet within, within the community, within your couple, within your... Uh, family, friends, and, it, and it's not that you don't find your feet, but, you know, immersing yourself and feeling completely at ease and a, and, and a real sense of belonging, I think is really important because it's going to take a lot of stress off your finances sort of side. So it will make your interaction with the outside world pretty loving. Okay, mastery. 
And it is pretty much mastery. Remember what I was saying about the relationship side? You're going to have that kudos. You're going to be able to have that listening in. You're going to know those words of weight that you can provide as advice for other people. And certainly on the business side. So it seems like you're going to be... You, you, you're going to be mastering it. You're going to be bossing it up by the looks of things uh, this week. And this will help you to understand that you can do it. I think this is what the karmic message is all about. That it does actually come from within you. It does come from your desire to do things. So if you do have desires to do things, keep that as the goal. Because they're long term. They're, they may not arrive tomorrow, but they certainly will arrive in the future. If you just sort of... Pay attention, be in the here and now when you need to be, and enjoy the life that is around you. Once you do that, it's a definite recipe for success. Okay? Let's see what the energy is of the going that's going through you, the, like, a bit like the long-term karmic path, as it were. I think this plays into that short foundation. It's like a, yeah, you're giving to life and you're getting your fair dues back. Playing smart. Now that card there, now this is interesting. Okay, so last week you had the chariot up the top there. It's now down here. So there is a definite reversal that's coming in here. So things are starting to speed up on your karmic path within your relationship because you did that work or you should have been a bit speedy around last week. You had the Queen of Wands who was actually in this position here in that karmic path coming through. And now she's up here where your guides can actually interject and help you out a lot. And then you've got the Queen of Pentacles here. And you had two Queens on, uh, on that side as well last week. Um, but you had this card here, which was in, uh, which is the, uh, on the, on the Petal Six was on your karmic path. So it, this playing smart, yeah, you, it may not be going as quickly as possible. And that's what the lesson is this week or the understanding this week is just being a little bit more sort of patient. And if you can do that patient, that playing smart that's been coming up through you will really pay you dividends. So it looks like a very nice week of tying up lots of loose ends and really feeling absolute pleasure and joy and belongingness in the position that you find yourself. There you go, uh, Taurus. That's for the week uh, coming up for uh, the 29th of um, May, uh, the 30th of May, sorry, going through to the 6th of June. So uh, that sort of energy is sort of coming through. You'll have to look on Cymatic CV, see how it influences your elements going through your your flower, which you can find in the link below. If you go over Cymatic TV, there is also the link below there where we do energy updates. I've had to take three weeks off from that channel simply because I'm moving house uh, and my studio is pretty much ready uh, now so we can get into some serious recording. Okay, uh, in the meantime, Taurus, I'd like to thank everybody who's already subscribed to this channel. Your support is absolutely amazing, really chuffed with it, uh, really pleased uh, about the sort of support you guys are giving me, uh, giving this channel, absolutely um, beautiful. If you want to be part of the Astro Flower family, it's not complicated, uh, it's very easy in fact, all you need to do is subscribe, and the important thing is, is click that bell. If you haven't clicked that bell, apparently YouTube doesn't give you notifications, doesn't tell you, so it's difficult to find our videos, and YouTube doesn't help us out in the algorithm. In the meantime, Taurus, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.